I made my phone. So, what else do I do? Ice. Ice diagram? Oh. Yes, I Yeah, I Yep. Can you bring the highlighter? So, to first talk about equilibrium, we must first talk about how to set up the equations to begin with. So, it's always products over reactants. And in this case, uh, Mariah, what's going to be one of our products? Uh, 3C. Okay, so we got C, and what do I do with that 3? Uh, exponent. Exponent, good. And then D, uh, how many? This one. Yeah, so again, if you don't have to put the one, I'm going to put it, why not? And then this one, same thing. A is going to be squared, and B is going to be a 3 as well. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to talk about. You need to make sure that your coefficients become exponents because they're of the functions that they are, and also that it's products at the top. If Kc is greater than 1, favors the products, and if Kc is less than 1, it favors reactants. If Kc equals 1, it favors both at the top. One's a magic number. I'm, it is fair game. I could easily ask you, like, hey, here's an equation, which of the following is the correct expression? I could give you, like, four messed up options like that. It would take me a while to make, but, I mean, that doesn't matter when you're taking the exam. Wait, aren't you done with the Oh, yeah, it's done. What I'm saying is, like, it would be a long question for me to make, but you would never know how long it took me to make. You know what I mean? So, I could. I could easily put, you know, hey, this is the equation, what's the equilibrium expression? I could have this as an option, I could flip this, I could put the 3 here and the 1 there and the 2 inside and the 3 inside. I could flip that and do that. I could put the 3s low, I could put B3, I could mess this up a whole different way. The beautiful thing about multiple choices, I can pick the wrong answers, which means I could figure out, okay, if you say B, which is wrong, I know exactly what you're thinking. I need to fix that for next year. So that's a really cool thing about um, multiple choice. Teachers can, especially on math, multiple choice. I can pick, I can make the other answers be answers that you would get. So then all four answers are possible, depending on what you did wrong. So then I know what you did wrong. Hashtag how you book. Okay. So that's first with that problem. Now you want you would like a problem. Yeah. Okay. So that's the big basic. So, here's what we'll have, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a good reaction right now. Oh, let's do this one. KBR plus CL2, two, one, two, KCL, one, BR2. That's a liquid, that's aqueous. That's a gas, this is aqueous. Okay, good problem, good problem. I will tell you that the concentrations for KBR, one molar, I'll tell you that CL2 is 0.8 molar, I'll tell you that KCL is 0.8 molar, and I'll tell you that BR2 is say one molar, 1.1 molar, why not? So, I will give you some information like this. And I'll tell you that this is the initial concentration, this is the initial concentration, and I'll tell you that this is the equilibrium concentration. And that's the thing that people messed up on the problem. I'm going to tell you, is it going to be the initial concentration or at the equilibrium point? If you put the number in the wrong spot, it will make your math nasty. I'm talking like Sharkeith's shut Oh my god. I'm okay, good. that old skit no. No. from whatever that TV show was. 
So, first and foremost, there is one of these four that has no business being in our problem. Which one of these four is useless? Bromine. Yeah, people are pointing at the bromine. Yeah, the bromine's a liquid. Liquids don't count. Liquids don't count, and now you know why I said it doesn't matter for that number. And also why I didn't give you a number to go with that. Now I might, I might try to trick you. Yeah, it's equal to concentration too, yay! Doesn't matter. And we can start our, our problem. So, if you allow me, I'm going to shrink these a little bit so we have room to do an ice diagram on this page. So, ice diagram. KBR plus CL2 to KCL plus 1 BR2. Again, this one doesn't count. I, C, E. That one's dead. That's my line. And we can start plugging things. And I'll pause for a second to give you an opportunity to pause the video or to catch up right. Continue on. We know that our initial concentrations are 1. 0 0.8, and I know that my equilibrium concentration is 0 0.8. A lot of people put that in the wrong spot. If you put it above in the actual, you actually are going to make some nasty math for yourself. I'm not trying to confuse you on the final. I'm trying to make it x as easy as possible to find. So don't do that. So initially, that's what we have. And here's the next question. Do we have any KCO at the beginning then? Do we have any? No. no, right? Our reaction hasn't started yet, right? At time zero, there is no KCO. There's only reactants, no products. So this is zero mole. So you're going to gain this. So this is your positive 2x. I got again 2x because of the 2. This is minus x, and this is minus 2x. Again, 2 from here. So 1 minus 2x is this, and 0 0.8 minus x is this. Also, if you would allow me, I do see an issue that's going to pop up. No, it's not actually. All's good. And that's my equilibrium expression. The only question is, I'm going to ask you to find x. And you actually can from this information. x is equal to 2x equals 0.8. x is 0 0.4. Which means, after you find x, because again, these are equal, 0 0.8 minus 0.4. 0.4. 1 minus 2 times 0.4 is 1 minus 0.8, which is 0.2. So now you have successfully found all of your equilibrium concentrations. 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. This is just x. This is not the equilibrium concentration for KCl. I already told you the equilibrium concentration for KCl. So this is just trying to find and plugging it in here. This is good to go. You already know it. You don't have to touch it. And then products of reactants. KCl squared. KBr squared. Cl2. So this one would be 0.8 squared, 0.2 squared times 0.4. Are there any questions? This is kind of a weird problem, so I know it's like very like, go 0 to 100 real quick a little bit. But are there any questions with 
you know, how I got X, how I set anything up, the math. part in the bottom, after yes. you get those two, would you add them or? So it's multiply. multiply. Yep, it's multiply. It's multiply. And, and here's the tricky thing, right? And I'm kind of picking this on purpose a little bit, um, but also a little bit of luck. Um, these numbers are all small, right? 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Uh, anyone get the answer yet? Yeah, and I would like two people to get the answer. I want to make sure two different people get the answer. I got it. I got 40. What'd you get? I did it wrong. Did you just plug it all in in one like keystroke? No. You broke it down? No. I got 40. So 0.8 times 0.8 is 0.64. So 0.64 divided by point. 04 times 0.4. So that's going to be a big number. John, did you get 40? Okay, that's one. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Show me what you did. Right, because that's divided by that. That's weird. Okay, that's right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take it. There we go. There we go. So you got okay. We got four. So yeah, this ends up being forty, which means that KC is going this way favors products. Which means, man, this wants to make KCL. This is trying to make KCL. This is trying to do everything in its power. I gotta make KCL. Mmm, potassium chloride. Love me that salt. Again, is this gonna be, like, this math problem gonna be on the multiple choice? No. It's not. But, you never know for the rest of it. Any questions on the ice diagram? The Chalier. The Chalier. The Chalier. The Chalier. Is that how French pronounce it? No. Or is it just a joke? It's because, like, in the video, it's a study for the quiz. Yeah. We looked on the video, and this guy. Good. Yeah. So that's nothing too bad there. Um, here, again. <laughs> I just remember well. Fernando yeah, that's, said it. That's cool. <laughs> that was like, oh, that's that's the lame. Um, so with these guys, um, with the Chartliers, Lee Chartliers. Um, oh. There we go. No. Um, with Le Chute Liais, um, there's a few things that you can do, but they all boil down to two things. You're gonna lose something, or you're going to gain something. Here's a rule of thumb. If you gain something, you are gonna use it, and vice versa. Now, if you would mind, I'm just quickly kind of showing again the video from yesterday. Um, I'm gonna make some new problems right now, but I just wanted to quickly 
you know, peruse this just so people have it as another reference. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do a new set. Let's do a new set. So I gotta add this. Okay, let's do a new set. Of Oh, also before I forget, because I think I forgot. This is unit nine. And this is unit ten. Unit the ice diagram? Yep. Unit. Yeah, this whole thing was unit ten. Okay. This is going back to unit ten as well. Okay, this is the So, new reaction, different reaction. 2KCl plus 1Br2 makes and yields 2KBr plus 1Cl. So I just looked at the reaction that we just did. Why not? We talk about. So there, there's a few things we could do, okay? And the big things are, and I'm, you're going to need this in a bit. You can add stuff, or you can lose stuff. If you add something, okay, I want you to imagine it being like adding, like I give you more ingredients. And I know I keep using ingredients, but it really works. It really does work. If I gave you more cheese, more bread, you are able to make more grilled cheese sandwiches. We established this. We know this. This is not a scary thing. So when you add something, you go... the other direction. So there are now one direction. Hmm. Uh, there can be two. You can go this way or that. No. For the views, man. For the views. <laughs> and when you lose something, you go towards it. Or towards the loss. I just said lose something. Because again, when you lose something, you want to make up for it. Okay? If I take all of Mariah's gummy bears so that she has no gummy bears, odds are she's going to want her gummy bears back. And she will haunt me for the rest of my life until I give her the two dollars that they cost or that I give her some money. See, true story? Mm -hmm. Yep, confirm. <laughs> On video, I have video evidence. Okay? Or with Cindy, right? If I take Cindy's blue highlighter so she can no longer do her rainbow of highlighters, Cindy gonna give me the stink eye until I give it to her back. <laughs> okay? Okay? Nancy, if I took like two of your ROTC medals, like the, the better the your best too. So you're not as high up as an officer because I took the medals proving it a little bit. Are you gonna be as happy with me? No. Not really, right? <laughs> not really, right? Or John, if I take your stuffed teddy bear that you've had since you were a little, a little kid. Why? See? <laughs> he, see, he loves that thing. He doesn't want it gone. He doesn't want it gone. Okay, it's going to be like that. Or, you know, for me, if you take away, you know, my students, like, Make them take a summer vacation, <laughs> then don't give them back to me senior, like junior year. Like that makes me sad. Okay. I want my students back. That's reality, though. Okay, that's reality, though. See how I just got really deep and metaphorical. Oh. So here's what this looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna just throw these at the bottom, so we have some space. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Excellent. So for example, Ooh, that's weird. Why did you do that? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I don't. Know. So what if I do this? I'm going to add. CL2. I'm going to lose BR2. I am going to gain KCL. And I want to lose K. 
can't be on. Okay, so we're going to do these four problems. Why not? Why not? So, and again, it doesn't matter what you gain or lose. Anything can be gained or lost. This includes temperature. Okay, this includes temperature. So, if you add CO2, you have more product. I'm giving you more product. So, do you think that the reaction wants to make reactants with that or keep making products? Do you want to make products or reactants? What do you guys think? Reactants, right? If you have more things, again, to show it on video, which I don't know if you can see. Can I see it? 